Hello everyone, a welcome back, Amore. So recently I brought to you a story of a Congolese activist known as Mwazulu Diabanza who went into a Dutch museum and took out one of the art pieces that was looted during the colonial times. So he had done the same thing in June in France as well. Meet Mwazulu Diabanza. Back in June, he stood in a Paris museum next to a 19th century funerary post from Central Africa and berated France for taking it and tens of thousands of other artworks from its former colonies. He and an associate prized the carved wooden ornament from its stand in the Quibronli Museum as a third man live-streamed the act on social media. He was stopped by a security guard as he made for the exit. Diamonsa is a Congolese activist who's lived in France for 20 years. He belongs to a pan-African movement that demands France return colonial artefacts it expropriated from its subjugates and recompense for acts of slavery. We are continuing the struggle for recovery. The recovery process is the fight for getting back our wealth, which include these works of art. So he recently went on trial, and I'm going to read for you an article from Al Jazeera to see how his trial went on. The article reads, a Congolese activist and four others went on trial on Wednesday on theft charges for trying to remove a 19th century African funeral pole from a Paris museum as part of a protest campaigning against colonial era plundering. Mwanzulu Diabanza has staged similar action in museums in Netherlands and southern French city of Marseille in recent months, inspired by global protests against racial injustice and colonial era wrongs unleashed by George Floyd's death in the recent U.S. in May. In the Paris case, Diabanza and other activists have been charged with attempted group theft of a historical object, and if convicted, they face up to 10 years in prison and a 150,000 euros fine, according to his lawyer. Diabanza, who is 41, led the operation at the Kwai Branley Museum last June, denouncing the pillage of Africa. Quoting his words, we are taking it home, he said in a video posted on social media after removing the funeral pole from Chad and parading it around the building. Arriving defiant in the court, Diabanza said it was about time that Africans, Latin Americans and other colonized communities take back what was taken from their lands under colonialism. The charges stem from a June incident that Diabanza streamed on Facebook in which he dislodged at the funeral pole from the Kwai Branley Museum, saying it should be returned to Africa. The pole came from a region that crosses current day Chad and Sudan. Museum guards stopped them and the police detained the activists in the video Diabanza, born in then Zaire, once ruled by Belgium, lists works held in the Kwai Branley Museum in Paris that came from form former colonies in Africa. He accuses European museums of making millions on artworks taken from now impoverished countries like the Democratic Republic of Congo, the Kwai Branley Museum on the banks of Seine River near the Eiffel Tower was built under former French President Jacques Chirac, to showcase non-European art, notably from ex-French colonies. France's then culture minister denounced the incident, as did some historians concerned this kind of action could damage long-running negotiations with the French government to return African art. A 2018 study commissioned by President Emmanuel Macron recommended that French museums give back works that were taken without consent if African countries request them. So far, France is preparing to give back 26 of African art out, out of some 90,000 works believed held in French museums. When I look at this trial, I just look at it as injustice. You know, the trial itself, why is he even being tried of anything, you know? Because it is clear and everyone is aware that these art pieces, you know, do not belong to France. They were looted during the colonial times. I believe no one asked anyone for permission. They just took these things out of Africa and, you know, went and put in their museums. They're making millions, you know, and millions of euros on this art pieces, you know, they've made so much money over the time. 
So I don't know why he should even be tried for anything. There is nothing to try for at all. I hope that the jury and the judge is smart enough not to convict him of any crime cause. There is nothing really. But I also do like the message that he is passing on. And I hope African countries can come out and reclaim their art. Imagine 90,000 art pieces. And that is just in France, you know. So how about all these European countries? Belgium, Netherlands, I mean, they stole so much from Africa. I hope that there will be a day when all these things can finally and finally come back to Africa. I wish him all the best with this trial. Check out my YouTube channel, Twitter and Instagram, all at Ray Kimbawazi and see you on the next story. Bye.